Good morning. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> voila. Uh, ah. Oh, okay. Good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm gonna do day in the life with a two-year-old. Also, I want to give a huge thank you to Birch Living for sponsoring this video. I'll talk more about them later in the video. Oh, hi, Cashew. Mama there, who else? Dada. Dada. Cashew. Cashew. Baby. Baby. Cheese. We're to take a photo with daddy. Okay, ready? Cheese. We have some French toast, strawberries, and a little maple syrup. Do you want to turn off the TV? Okay, we're gonna have our breakfast and then we're gonna go to dance, okay? Oh, huge booger. Okay, so we're running late, kitchen's a mess already, and I have 10 minutes to make a quick green smoothie. I'm gonna take it with me on the go. Sage is eating her French toast on the go. I don't know, I think her teeth might be hurting her. I think she has molars coming in, so she basically refused her lovely breakfast. And honestly, I just wanna like keep this in because like that's just the reality of it sometimes. You like make something for your toddler and they don't eat anything, so. We don't have much in the fridge, but Matt went grocery shopping last night. Yeah, he's literally just feeding her French toast in her playroom. And honestly, as long as she eats, I don't care at this point. <laughs> like, whatever. And that's how we're eating our breakfast today. She wanted the whole piece. She didn't want to cut up. Thank you. Taking it to go. Also, if you saw my recent hacks video, taking her breakfast for a snack. And then I'm also bringing some seaweed snacks. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna put that there for a sec. Let's do your hair. Let's do your hair. Oh, okay. All right, we're in the car. I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of a, it wasn't hectic on Sage's part. It just felt like we were rushing because we woke up late. Like if we don't wake up before Sage, at least half hour, I just feel like everything is so rushed. And anyways, this is just the real life of trying to get somewhere in the morning. Um, so I'm drinking my smoothie on the go. Oh my gosh, that is so sunny. Where were you this morning when I want to wake up? Um, but yeah, I've just been feeling so tired. I think cause like I'm still um, getting better from being sick last week. And yeah, I don't know when you're, when you're down, it's just, everything just seems harder. All right, so we are making it to dance. We're gonna be a couple minutes late, but that's fine. And then when we get back, um, let's see if Sage will have a little bit more for breakfast. Ready for dance? of a change of plans. Sagey's not feeling so hot, so we're just relaxing, watching some Luca and having milk cuddles. I got laundry in and then I'm going to go upstairs and 
finish getting ready and go make our bed. It's just that time of year, everyone's getting sick. <laughs> All right, while Sage is napping, I'm gonna do some things around the house. One of them was changing our bed sheets. We actually just got some new Christmas uh, sheets for our bed, and I'm so excited to put them on. But first, I wanna talk about our amazing new mattress from Birch Living. We actually got this a few months ago. We've been sleeping on it every single night, and wow. So good. As parents with a two-year-old, sleep is so important. We really never know if she's gonna wake up in the middle of the night. Um, she does sleep pretty good, but like there is the odd time where like the other morning she was up at 4.30 and whatever sleep we are able to get, it better be good quality sleep. Birch Living is a premium mattress in a box company that makes both mattresses and sleep products that are both stylish, comfortable, and also environmentally cautious. When you take this mattress out of the box, it doesn't have any of those like weird chemical off-gassing smells it is made with organic and natural materials that are sustainably sourced and when I tell you this is the comfiest softest mattress I have ever felt like it just feels like a cloud I've had such a good sleep on it and unlike synthetic mattresses the wool in these mattresses are hyperallergenic they're also mildew resistant and they're gonna keep you cool all night long when we moved into this new house I actually did a bunch of research on mattresses and what are in some of them and it is insane what you can find and a bunch of them had fiberglass fiberglass and they're like it's okay if you just have a mattress protector and you don't disturb inside like you should be fine fiberglass is not what i want to be laying my head on at night i ordered the birch lux mattress which is a premium upgrade to their original well-loved birch natural mattress the best part is that with your birch mattress you get a hundred night sleep trial along with a 25 year warranty so if it makes you nervous buying something before you even get to try it like a mattress this is more than three months to make sure you love it they're easy to buy online and they get shipped right to your door and because of the mattress in the box style, you can bring it into the room that you want to put it in and then unbox it instead of lugging up a big open mattress up the stairs. I can't rave about them enough. It's so important to our family that we're using non-toxic products in our life. We have a dog, we have a two-year-old, and everybody's sleeping on the bed at some point in the day. So I want to make sure what we're spending basically half of our life on is non-toxic and safe for all of us. We love our Birch mattress, and if you're also looking for a non-toxic, environmentally friendly, good night sleep check out my link in the info box down below you're gonna get four hundred dollars off plus two free pillows you're gonna love them i cannot recommend them enough and honestly i just kind of want to i just kind of want to take a little nap oh just it's so comfy okay let's go get the sheets and finish making the bed before sage wakes up how cute is this plaid duvet cover? I think they might still be available. I got this one on sale. I was like gonna buy it full price and I'm like, I don't know, it's kind of expensive. I waited and I got it on sale. So very excited. Good things come to those who wait. than a freshly made bed. Mm. So I thought I would be fancy and roll over the top and I realized, where is it? There's a hole in it, I'm so sad. I don't even know, like I've already washed it and everything. Other than that, it honestly feels like really like good quality. Like there's some weight to it. We just need some twinkly lights up there and we are ready for Christmas. Got my Portuguese uh, cork slippers on. <laughs> You're not sick. Come on, you Do you want to have lunch? No. All right, I'm going to make myself a quick lunch. We have leftovers. We just did like taco salads last night for dinner, so I'm gonna have that. I'm just gonna. This is just uh, ground beef with taco seasoning, onion, garlic, and black beans, and then this is just romaine lettuce. I think we might still have avocado left and then I'll just put some hot sauce on it. We do not interrupt the independent playtime. <laughs> Santa's watching you. Honestly, how do you guys keep your kids from not attacking the tree? Yeah, we can touch, but we don't want to pull them off. You just touch like, ooh, sparkly. Okay.
Sage is currently running away from Matt. He's trying to change her poopy diaper. I know I've gotten questions. We are planning on potty training soon. I kind of want to do it before Christmas. And I think I just need like a good two days to do it. But there's some more research I want to do and just be like mentally prepared. Because I feel like it's going to be a long couple of days. But then afterwards it'll be worth it. I just like I don't want to wait too long because I feel like she is capable to do it right now. And like she already has a potty and she'll sit on it sometimes. And I feel like she she's ready. Also she hates diaper changes. So I feel like that's another reason why to do it. Sage. You got poopy. Daddy's gotta change it. Yeah, she's like, I got some pomegranates I'm gonna have on the side. And I think I need some lime juice and hot sauce. Oh, <laughs> lime juice right in the eye. Oh, thank God for contacts. These test. I mean, we had this last night. This is just like a good go-to. Usually we'll do taco shells, but I want to do lettuce. It's like a taco salad. You're gonna smoosh the poop all in your butt. All right, I'm gonna eat this fast and then we're gonna go give Sage a bath. We're doing bath time. Kick your feet. Whoa, splish splash, I was taking a bath. Yeah? All right, so Matt just went to go run some errands. I'm giving Sage a little bath. Cooling her down. I'm just letting her play a little bit before I scrub her down. Wake up, bookers. Okay, all out of the bath. Time to go dry off and get dressed. My dance. My dance. I asked for a kiss. <laughs> she licks me. Mwah. <laughs> Who taught you that? <laughs> Thank you. That's your hat. Hat. Actually, it's ears. 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 Oh, we need to get some socks. 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 She's talking so much now, it's kind of crazy. Stop. She can pretty much repeat any word. Not any word, but say avocado. Quill. Say Gigi. Gigi. Say Chloe. Blueberry. Baby. Say banana. Banana. Say apple. Daddy. Papa. Say mommy. Mama. Say cashew. Say you. Say she. Good job. We're gonna go for a walk in the forest. Jump. Yeah. This is how you keep your toddlers happy. Take them outside. One, two, three, go. She's such an explorer. Sagey's having some leftover homemade sourdough pizza. Oh. I'm giving you some to daddy. I think she has like a mushroom cake. Yeah, mushrooms are so yummy. Here. What? Crust. What? You know she's not feeling well when she's not eating her pizza. Okay, oh my goodness. The exciting part of the day where I gotta put away laundry. I usually just try to do one big load like once a week, so I'm not always doing laundry, but it is time to put it away. <laughs> okay, the lighting in here is really bad, but I don't know if this is the stuff that interests you, like mundane, boring things, like putting away laundry, but it's part of a day with kids, so I figured I would show a little bit of it. Um, to be honest, I fold a lot of her stuff. Um, I do mostly pants in the drawers, um, but all the sweaters, I just hang up. We have these little felt hangers. I just get them from Amazon. Hang them up. To be honest, I would say Matt and I pretty much are 50-50 on who does Sage's, Sage's laundry. It's not like one person's job. And my trick is I try not to buy too many clothes, like for one age group. That way it's not like, you're not getting wear out of certain things. Um, I let her wear the nice clothes and the loungy clothes, like everything is up for grabs. Otherwise, like if you have pretty dresses, you're not gonna get use out of them. Like she already has a couple of dresses in there that I'm gonna try to get her to wear like maybe one tomorrow if we're gonna go to my mom's. 
and just like get used out of them because otherwise they're like no one's wearing them. I do need to organize this closet. It's looking a little messy. It is organized, but it just doesn't look like it is. I also get a lot of questions on where I buy Sage's clothes. I would say a mixture of H&M, Zara, at Baby Gap has so many great options and they always have good sales. And then I love Kite Baby for pajamas. And also she has hand-me-downs too from her cousins, which is really nice. She's got little undies. I'm so excited for potty training, but also I'm like, I'm excited for the aftermath of potty training so we're not in diapers anymore. But these are so cute. I've heard mixed things about pull-up diapers. I think if we use them, it'll be more so for at night. Um, during the day, I feel like it's probably good for her just to wear underwear and that way she can feel if she's wet or not. Um, but let me know if you have any experience and what you did. I think it's just pajamas and pants, which I'm gonna put in the drawers. And then I think our friends are gonna be here soon and then we're gonna do dinner. We, we just had groceries delivered, so we're gonna put that away and just relax and enjoy some time with friends. And they have a great Dane puppy, so Cashew's gonna be very excited. I don't know why I'm out of breath putting away clothes. All right, so today is actually the next day. We're just about to head over to my mom's to go see some family. And I just want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Sage is feeling so much better. I gave her some homeopathic medicine yesterday and lots of rest and fluids and humidifiers and she's actually doing so good. So luckily it didn't turn into anything, which is great. And I just wanna give another huge thank you to Birch Living for sponsoring this video. Definitely check out my link down below to get $400 off plus two free pillows with the purchase of any of their mattresses. You will love them. I, even this morning when I woke up, I was like, oh, it's like such a good sleep, especially with my cute new Christmas bedding, which Matt has already put laundry on. Usually that's me, so I'm not going to complain. But thank you for watching. Have a fabulous day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.